homestead here. Today we are taking the ducks out of the rabbit run and we're going to try to introduce them to the chickens. So there's four little ducks we got to take down and we'll see how they do. They're, they're quite big so I think they'll be okay to introduce them but we'll see. One more duck. We can shut that now. Thank you. Okay. Now we're going to walk them down. Daddy, I want to touch them. Goaty, goaty. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too shaky. I'll try to walk slow. Wish this strawberry bed would sprout up some more. Come on, let's go introduce them. Trying to walk slow, sorry. Can you get your sister, please? Thank you. We'll wait for you. Sorry, YouTube. Trying to walk slow. I figure I should just try to walk fast and get it over with instead of... So just close your eyes if you can't take the jumping of the camera. I'm hurrying. This is our first time keeping ducks. Usually we raise them and just for fun because they're cute and then we just let them go at a local pond. But this is our first time that we're going to attempt to keep them so we'll see how this goes. I don't know if they're going to be easy or, or what. I told our other daughter we'd wait for her. The chickens are looking at the ducks like, hmm, I don't know about them, but they're big. They're definitely bigger than our white chicken in here. Well, she's tiny though. <laughs> While I'm down here waiting for our other children to come down, do a little update on what my husband did yesterday with the nesting boxes. We um, put that top on there to try to encourage them, and they only, I put most of these in here. They only laid two eggs in here. All the rest of these eggs were found, again, on the ground over here where they keep trying to lay there and then back in that corner. So I put that two by four there to try to make it an unhappy place for them to lay, and I put all of the eggs up in here so hopefully they'll see them and want to go up there and lay eggs like they think their friends did. Going back out, it's windy again today. Are you ready? Okay, ducky. We're just gonna put them in there inside the cage like we do with our chicks every year to let the, the um, big chickens try to get to know them. You guys are okay. Rooster's not too fond of them. Hmm. Not sure what to think. I kind of just want to release them and see what happens. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> This looks, this is their run for right now because I reseeded the field, We're waiting for the seeds to germinate, so the field's still not how I want it to be, so I don't want the chickens out there eating any of the seeds that they find. The wind is probably making this video difficult to hear. I'll let one out. What do you think will happen? Will you protect them? If they start going after one. Aww. That was a lot harder than you thought it was going to be, wasn't it? They're not chickens. They definitely won't flap. I'll let two of them out so they can be friends and walk around together. 
Look, they all want to get out. Might as well see how it goes. If they start to go after them, just get them. They're so much bigger than the chicks when we put the chicks down here. Look, they're going down to the chickens. <laughs> The chickens are like, hmm, I don't know about this. Oh, a holly leaf. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> they really are cute. I wish they'd get their feathers. And I hope they're not all boys. But all their tail feathers look like they're sticking up an awful lot. I don't like that. I'm sure there's a way to tell. I could probably YouTube it to try to sex the ducks and see what they are. Come down here with your chicken friends. Where's your sister? They're just ignoring them, really. Yeah, first day of school is always hard. Unless you're homeschooled. Then it's pretty easy. See the ducks? Let's move around, chickens. Go on. They don't seem to care at all. <laughs> they don't seem to care at all, do they? Maybe if we go out and let them do their own thing. Let's try that. Because I don't want to leave them down here in a hostile environment. <laughs> but I don't want to have to stay in here either. Come on. Following me. I'm not your mommy. Not the mommy. <laughs> Just chilling. they do? <laughs> Uh-oh. Might need to go in. <clears throat> when we put our chicks down here, we keep them in a dog crate for a very long time until they get the other chickens get used to them, but they're usually half the size of the ducks. So since the ducks are so big, I figured we could just put them in there and see how they do. So we'll have to see. This red hen seems to be the only one, I mean the black one, seems to be the only one harassing them right now. They'd probably like water in there, a little pool, but it's too cold, really. I don't think they should have that right now, even though they're in it in, the, in Mother Nature, in the cold water right now. Yeah, they'll probably try to get right in that water bowl. So we're gonna have to bring down different water. Oh, they found food. Oh, they're cute. <laughs> Please be three females and one male, please. If you can do anything about that, that would be great. <laughs> the chickens don't seem to care. Maybe they're just like, I don't even know what that is, so I'm not even going to mess with it. I'm not even going to address that. <laughs> Eating a chicken feather. Okay, that's not the smartest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that one has a beard. Look. 
<laughs> or a goatee. <laughs> now I can't get it off his tongue. That's a turd. Don't eat that. <laughs> oh, oh, a piece of corn. And they don't seem to care. What we did with this one year, um, a local church has a hay maze and then all of the hay got rained on for like a week and then they were just getting rid of the hay. So we went there one day with our trailer and just picked up probably 20 bales of hay and put it all in here and just laid it all out and let the chickens compost it. So this dirt underneath of this is really, really dark and really good. It looks like a desert right now, but really underneath, if we were to flip any of this over, it's really good composted dirt under here. Did you guys just hear that rooster make that noise? He saw something and he made a noise to tell all of the hens to get into the hen house and a bunch of them went in there. It's funny how they communicate. And it's also so sweet when you see the roosters telling the hens that they found something yummy to eat and they call them over and they don't eat it themselves, they give it to the hens. It's really sweet to see that as well. Alright, well I guess they're good. We'll come back down here later on to make sure nobody's getting picked on. I think this is the only hen we need to worry about, this black uh, Australorp. Or maybe she's a black sex, black sex link. Because she don't know what to think about that. She's like, her feet look like something I might have eaten before, like the skin of a squash. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like they got some ribs in them, like a piece of spaghetti. have to see. Alright YouTube, see you later.